First of all, the sinuses are air, so your head would be much more heavy if you would not have sinuses, if everything would be bone. But another thing is, I think it's protecting some vital organs in your head. Um, if, for example, you are hit on the head or you have a car accident, and all this would be massive bone, um, then you would have a more severe trauma. If someone hits you on the eye, and the eye cannot escape, the eye will be broken. If you have a sinus, the sinus gives some air. It's like an airbag, it's the airbag of the head. So you have some space in the head where vital organs can, in a case of a crash, can do something. So I think they are protective in a way. We have clear figures. Um, we have around 10% of the population in Europe suffers of uh, chronic sinusitis. Um, but it's very clear to know that there are differences in, uh, in Europe. For example, in the Scandinavian countries, it's around 6 to 7% of the population having sinusitis. Here in Belgium, we have, and in Poland, it's like 18% of the population. And um, we are now doing some research and looking into factors why this is higher here than, for example, in Scandinavia. Uh, we are not out what is the exact reason. It could be uh, pollution, for example, but it could be other factors as well. It's multifactorial, so it means it's the combination of your genetic background and the environment, what happened, infections. So is it genetic? Partly. But it's not clear like the inheritance of the color of your eyes. Um, so there is some genetic background, but it's the combination of genetics and the environment which gives uh, at the end the outcome that you have sinusitis, infections, uh, anatomical structures in your nose. Uh, um, but of course you can inherit uh, a crooky nose as well, so that could be also inherited. We have several patients and certainly with chronic sinusitis where you do a surgery and where on the long term, they have barely or any symptoms. They have uh, a few symptoms to no symptoms. Of course, you have to look to other uh, diseases that are associated. If your patient has sinusitis and has on top of that an allergy, of course, you also have to treat the allergy. So for patients, it's quite difficult to know why they have symptoms. If you uh, have a blocked nose, it can be due to the chronic sinusitis, but if you also have an underlying house dust mite allergy, it can be also the house dust mite allergy. So can it be cured? Well, uh, yes, it depends, of course, if you have an allergy or not, whether you will be fully cured or not. It also depends on the disease. Nasal polyp patients have a, a lower chance to be cured than chronic sinusitis patients.